getting ready here but we've got the ignition right here on the the engine turn this baby on this is the 2019 oh that is low look at that flat footing 2019 scout bobber by Indian of course we're here at the Indian demo rides courtesy of progressive I guess I got the bar end mirrors which are great I want to see out of those oh what can we see out of these there that's great great view out of those we got the 3.3 gallon tank 100 horsepower on this 1133 cc engine uh, we got six speed transmission I think I already said that uh, oh we got all this stuff right here that I can just read it on here um, but for the display, what do we have here? That's the turn signal. How do I change the display here? I guess I can't. I guess that's all there is to the display. Is the miles, the time, what gear you're in. We've got ABS on this bike, and I don't believe ABS is standard on the Scout Bobber, but it is an option. So that is a good thing. So we'll talk a little bit more about the bike once we get out on the road. Let's see if we've got the safety feature here where we've got to push the clutch in. Nope. Also a little bit of a different sound here. Got to lean forward just a little bit. This bike is long and low. And I, in pictures I always thought it was bigger because of how long it is, but it's a, it's a, sportster sized bike uh, but it does feel a little bit reminiscent of my of my fat bob my 2013 fat bob and uh, got the forward controls here so that's a little bit different than the the sportster the lean angle here is 29 degrees on both sides so we will test that out as we ride and this exhaust is Nice and quiet. Friction zone. Let's, let's check this friction zone here before we get started. Oh, it's it's a little, I wouldn't say early. It's about right in the middle. So that's nice. So we got here bright and early. This is the first test ride here on this demo, demo day. And we're going to hopefully get, <laughs> we're hopefully going to get Hopefully we're going to get this one in the Dark Horse, the Chieftain Dark Horse, under our belt this morning. But this bike is low. I think I just hit my, my foot on the tire. 
That doesn't happen. <laughs> that guy did not, not did not instill great confidence <laughs> with that start. But here we go. So got to get used to this too. We've got the typical blinkers here, not like the Harley bling the blinkers where they're on both sides. Oh, we're going all the way over. But just in case you were wondering, we're in Dublin, California, just outside of the Bay Area. Oh, a lot of power. That's awesome. Not overwhelming. It's not all at once. It's nice and linear. At least right off the bat here, as far as I can tell. But this bike is so low. I mean, like I'm showing you, I don't know if you can see this, but my I'm flat footing it here. Just, I mean, my knees are bent flat footed. The seat height, I'll have to pop up on the screen because I cannot remember. Woo. Yeah, and that power is not overwhelming. I would say it's a little bit reminiscent of a Sportster, but I haven't been on a Sportster in a while, so I couldn't tell you for sure. But it's it's decent, and it's it's got some pep. This seat here is comfortable. It's nice and firm. I don't like the seats too soft because that tells kind of signals to me on a long ride it's going to get uncomfortable. But this seat feels nice and firm. It is a little bit slick. I think it's leather, so I guess you got to kind of be uh, conscious of that because I do feel like when we accelerated quickly there that I slid back just a little bit. Throttle response, nice. We haven't done any turns yet, so we'll get into that. We've got a, uh, a USB charger right here built in. Uh, so if you're a motor vlogger or you've got your phone up here for your navigation, uh, you've got power right to your, right to that if you've got something mounted on your handlebars right there Definitely the exhaust is something to admire on on these bikes in front of me. I'll be riding the The, the chieftain dark horse actually at the request of a subscriber next to compare it with the with the street glide So we got ABS brakes are really nice I would say if if I was to talk about a, like a perfect braking uh, feeling and it's not super grippy and it's not spongy, but that uh, I kind of just wanted to accelerate really fast right there and stop really quickly so I could get a feeling of for the how how these brakes feel and it was just I would say it's just ideal ideal feeling Now I'm five foot six and when I wear a ten and a half shoe my inseam is about 30 inches I don't know if I already said that uh, I've got longer arms, but I got to lean forward just a bit. So if you're a shorter guy, you got that to consider. But these forward controls are nothing, nothing to reach forward for. It's almost like a, a mid forward, and a completely different sound than anything I've I can really think of. As far as exhaust goes, it's it's actually relatively quiet. But I'm sure that's something you can change, obviously if you want to but this low center of balance makes this to be a really whoo oh, I hit a bump there it kind of bumped me back on the seat just FYI so that's something to consider but I mean I wouldn't call this a clamshell position but if you've ridden the the like the, the V-Rod or the the new FXDR from Harley. You know that you've got your feet forward and you've got your hands forward. So it's a little bit of an awkward position. It's not the most comfortable position, but I mean, I could ride this for, for a good distance and still be, feel comfortable, I think. It, this is no different than if you had like a Fat Bob and you put like drag handlebars on it, so you had to lean forward a little more and you had the forward controls. I think that's about what you would, what you would expect out of this bike. All right, so here's our first turn. Oh, and we leaned it over pretty well there. And there's confidence in that turn. I would say, you know, as far as fr the difference between my 2013 Fat Bob and this bike in the turn, 
is that there's a lot less vagueness. You know, when I point the bike, bike where I want it to go, it goes right to where I wanted it to go. And in a straight line, this bike is great. Again, I don't know what to do about that seat though, where when I hit that, that little bit of a bump there and it kind of tossed, tossed me back into the seat a little bit, I didn't feel like I was gonna slide off or anything, but something to consider. So standard lights all the way around, no LEDs, but again, I'm sure that's something that can be, that can be modified if you want that. I don't want to test out the horn. That's the ignition. Do we have any buttons here on top? Oh, there we go. There's the mode change. It's like the trigger button here on the left. I don't know what we're looking at down here. It's DC 13.9, 2021, trip one, RPM. There we go. We can leave that on. So there's your TAC, digital TAC. Yeah, that's nice. Very li so very linear power on this bike. I, if you're a, a beginner, a beginner rider, and you're interested in getting a little bit more than like a Sportster power, because you got six speeds on this bike as opposed to the five speeds. I know you can get the Scout 60, which is more of a, which is closer to a, a Sportster, I think, because it only has five speeds. But this power is very linear. It's something that's easy to handle and because it's so low to the ground and if you're a shorter person especially you're you're gonna be just fine on this bike when we stop again I'll I'll try and uh, and not put my feet down as long as I can and, and see see how the balance feels there I don't know that's kind of a, a funny oh oh that's a raccoon it's kind of a funny test that I do because you know I, I, I don't know if anyone else does that but when I Woo! Oh my goodness! I don't know if you saw that. Man, that hurt in the wrist a little bit. That was not good. It's a good thing I'm a skilled rider. <laughs> All right, well, this is a good, nice little turn here. And I think that the. the uh, the turn signals are self-canceling, so that's pretty cool. It's not something you'll always get on a on a bike, and maybe it is. I don't know. On my older bikes, though, that weren't uh, Harley. Oh, scraped a little bit right there. All right. So I'm just testing my boundaries. Oops. Testing my boundaries a little bit here. Just a little bit of a scrape on that turn. And that was a pretty, a pretty, uh, pretty sharp turn. Well, this is kind of gorgeous out here. If you're wondering about the haziness, we've got wildfires again going on in California. So it's not foggy, it's not cloudy. This is smoke. So very unfortunate. So engine vibration. Let, let's let's uh, make a comparison. I, I would say compared to like the new uh, counterbalanced Milwaukee 8 engines, and we're gonna compare it to Harley just because that's what I know, but not a lot of vibration at all it's very comparable i think to the to the milwaukee 8 as far as feeling in your hands and your feet and on your seat not a whole lot of difference there so we're not going to put our feet down oh yeah very nice i mean a lot of that i think has to do with how low this bike is to the ground your center of balance all right made a sharper turn there no dragage <laughs> yeah, that's nice. And now here's a higher speed turn. Oh yeah. Very good. All right. Shifting is is very smooth. They if, if there's a click at all very uh very minimal definitely not a clunk on the upshift oh 
yeah. So we're we're in this this higher speed turn here, and we're hitting a few little bumps, and there's no problem. Oh yeah, shifting's really nice. Slow down. <laughs> no, we weren't going that fast. So let's stop. Let's make a fast stop here. Yeah, that, I can't. Th these brakes are really good. It's just that right amount of grip. I can't say though that I've been on a bike that has ABS where where it's super grippy. I mean, obviously that's the whole point of ABS, right? So you don't lock them up. But on this bike especially, uh, it's just that right amount of grip. I've been on bikes with ABS where it's a little bit spongy or a little bit soft and you kind of have to grip it a little bit harder to to get that harder stop that you're looking for. But this bike, not at all. It's really ideal. So we've got 150 tire in the back, 150 in front on 16 inch wheels. We've got the single disc brake in front and a single disc brake in back. But like I've been saying, the braking is, is really good on this bike. You know, I, I think maybe because of the weight, you don't have to worry too much. This bike is 554 pounds wet. You don't have to worry too much about having the double disc in front, but I've seen bikes. I mean, obviously like sport bikes, you've got the double disc in front a lot of the times on a, on a lighter bike, but this, this doesn't have any, any problems at all stopping uh, with just a single disc in front. Another uh, higher speed turn here, and it's handling very nicely. Yeah, fourth gear all the way up to almost 60 miles an hour. Still felt like I could go a little more before I shifted. So there's still good, good power left at the top end of your, your RPM and good power in the blower end as well. But again, like I said, it's very linear. I wouldn't ha I wouldn't worry if you were a beginner rider looking at the Scout uh, Bobber about being overwhelmed by the power on this bike. And again, I think this would be a good choice just because of the low ride height. Uh, you know, and the the lean angle, even though it's, it's only 29 degrees on both sides, I think that might keep you out of trouble. It'll make, make you more conscious of the speed that you're going when you're getting into a turn. So I think that could be a good thing for a beginner rider. <laughs> this guy keeps putting on his opposite blinker for the direction he's going. I wonder if he's got a Harley because, you know, the Harley's got it on both sides and he hasn't, maybe he hasn't done it in a while. All right. So we were able to get into that turn, which was a sharper turn without dragging peg. So that's good. So yeah, when you when you get on it at the higher RPM, you can you can feel the the engine vibration a little more. And you can hear the exhaust a little more. But again, this is a very, a very quiet exhaust. If you live in an apartment building, again, your neighbors will love you for that, for that. <laughs> which I do. So I try to find the heavy medium with my exhaust. This display, even though it's mounted on the handlebars, it's a little low, but I can look down with my eyes with this full face helmet and still see pretty much everything and still have my eyes on the road or my head, my head up. And it's a, I don't know how it looks on the video, but it's a, it's a smaller gauge, but it's really easy to read. RPM as well is easy to read. And again, you can toggle through here. Oh, that's engine temperature. But again, we're just gonna keep it on the RPM. Yeah, so wind protection, 
this is a cruiser with no windshield uh, which is I'm, I'm used to it still feels pretty minimal though you know we haven't got up above 60 miles an hour so it's a little bit hard to tell but it doesn't seem like it's going to be terrible again leaning forward a little bit for this bike and you know being low to the ground i, I don't know if that has anything to do with it but but being leaning forward a little bit i'm sure helps not feel like the wind's really really pushing on you when you're riding at higher speeds but overall on this ride i can definitely recommend the indian scouts scout bobber and this is the 2019 model i'll flash up what this bike starts at for you on the screen because i'm not 100 sure and i want to give you accurate information again if you want full specs on this bike i will put a link in the description so you can go straight to that if you'd like but yeah this tank is nice and narrow so i don't feel splayed out or anything with my knees here on the ride Yeah, very maneuverable. I have no problem getting this bike to go where I want it to. Oh, that was a large branch in the road. Yeah, fourth gear is kind of a nice place for this bike, it seems like, when you're uh, between 45 and, and 60 miles an hour. We got all the way up to 70 right there in fourth gear. Yeah. And again, I don't know if you can see in these mirrors, but they're really good. I've never had the round bar mirrors before, but the round mirror, mirror round bar end mirrors that I've seen or ridden with bikes, they were smaller, but these are, are a good size and I can see every I can see everything. Everything that I need to see behind me and in my blind spot. Like I said, good power for this bike in the low end and also in the plenty to spare once you get up into the 4,000 and above RPM range. Very nice. Now it's a cool morning. This is a liquid cooled engine. So I don't know if that helps. I think the liquid cooling is, is what's more helpful when you're, when you're uh, you know, light to light and in parking lot traffic. But I, I don't feel any engine heat at all on the leg, you know. And obviously this is a, a cruiser, so you don't have to worry about the, the, the heat being underneath your seat. But yeah, no engine heat at all. I think we're, we're approaching like 60 degrees so it's nice and cool again but it's very nice and I think yeah that we're coming towards the end of our our test ride here but again nothing but good things to say about the Indian Scout Bobber just a an outstanding motorcycle here all the way around i think maybe if you're a taller rider it might feel a little small to you uh, and that's definitely what uh, one of the gentlemen who are who are guides today in the demo rides was saying that he's a bigger guy so it feels a little small to him but for a, a shorter rider or someone who has a maybe not might not be super short but has a, a shorter inseam uh, this is definitely a bike you want to consider and coming from a Har from a Harley Davidson's exclusively since I've started riding, well, I did have one starter bike too, but I only had that for a little while. But riding Harley's mainly, this is the first time I've ridden an Indy, and I'm thoroughly impressed. I mean, if you're buying a new bike nowadays, it, you're going to get a good bike. You're going to get a reliable bike. There's not there's not a lot of chintziness between brands anymore, and I think it's the same way with cars, but. Yeah, there, there's nothing to worry about, and, and I would definitely recommend this bike. But I believe this is the end of our test ride, guys. 
I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. And you know what to do. Like and subscribe. Guys, this has been fun. If you're out there riding, be safe. I am that one guy. Oh, and hey, I just popped up the subscribe button not long ago. You should, you should, uh, you should click that. Hi, guys. I am out.